uh, phase two of this operation. The briefing theater here at Garrison Petawawa is filled with troops from a communications regiment. They've been ordered here by their commanding officer for a discussion of sexual misconduct and to receive new orders on how to fight it. Why should anybody have to defend themselves against inappropriate behavior? Not acceptable, okay? Briefings like this are happening at more than 130 units at army bases across the country, and they follow that staggering report that found the military has a misogynistic and sexualized culture and that sexual misconduct is endemic. Colonel Tim Young is in charge of Army personnel. The, the Army commander looks at that and, and, and looked at the report, and he was actually disappointed. So disappointed, he said that the Army commander sent an all-staff note to the Army's 43,000 soldiers and civilians. The idea that any member of this great institution, military or civilian, should have to defend themselves against any form of sexual behavior is absolutely deplorable and unacceptable, he wrote. Colonel Young says Army leaders at all levels have been urged to accept collective responsibility for the problem and to fix it. We work in small teams. You have to rely on that, your fire team partner. When you have to, 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 to defend yourself against some sort of sexual misconduct and that is there while you're trying to work as that coherent team to, to, uh, to, to do that job, totally unacceptable. The military has appointed a team led by Lieutenant General Christine Whitecross to figure out a forces-wide strategy to combat sexual misconduct. The Army had already started making changes. At sessions like this, it issued new orders for all leaders to stop using demeaning, sexualized language, crude names for body parts, for instance, and to take seriously complaints of harassment or assault. The Army started making these changes before General Lawson made his comments to you, Peter, about biology. Now, those remarks have had a huge impact. Soldiers, even some senior officers, have been privately expressing their distaste for the boss's remarks. Infuriating is how one senior officer put it to me. Now, General Lawson is due to retire in just a few weeks. It's a good thing, say some insiders. All right, James, thank you. James Cudmore.